17 years down the line, Nigeria's democracy has been experiencing leadership crisis within the National Assembly, which usually affects sustainable development of the nation. The current 8th National Assembly is not an exception. Former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Gali Umaruna Abba said, Nigeria's democracy has come of age, and for it to work stronger, there is need for more synergy among the key players for speedy delivery of democracy dividends. And uh, you have a situation today where our political parties have not been allowed to grow, such that today, if you were to see our political parties physically, you'll see them like dwarfs. <laughs> you know? And uh, w once that is allowed to happen, the economy will be dwarfed, the social system will be dwarfed, and no sector of the society can grow beyond the political parties. Therefore, I want to urge leaders, particularly presidents and governors, to take care of their party members. Other guests made case for a more vibrant and ideological-driven political system that will pay attention to political party supremacy and encourage leadership recruitment based on competence and hard work. But as long as it's money politics, we've got fatherism, we are not growing. And there's so much money in the system. This, to my mind, you know, can curtail influencing parties instead of based on ideas, it's not based on money. Political parties should not be parastatals. They should be strong enough as to really uh, dictate the course of events in terms of the robustness of the parties. See, much about democracy is attitude. Democracy is an empty vessel and what you put into it becomes the content. Mm. If you don't do the right thing that you are supposed to do and the other person does not do the right thing, it takes you a very long time to realize a very common objective. They attributed the instability in the nation's polity to intra-party crises and the quest for material wealth. In Abuja, Salihu Abdullahi, NTA News.